Every afternoon, Thomas the Tank Engine puffs along his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle. First, they pass the water mill. Next, they come to a big farm. Then, they can see a bridge with a village nestled either side of it. This is a special place. Whenever children hear Thomas coming along, they stand on the bridge waving until he is out of sight. One day, Thomas was running late. He had stopped at the signal before the bridge to talk to some new children. Percy the Green Engine was waiting, too. Called Percy when the signal dropped. Thought Thomas, but he was worried. Next day, Thomas hurried along the line. Just ahead was the goods yard. There on the platform was an inspector waving a red flag. Next, Thomas saw some children. They were waving too. Thought Thomas. Called the children. The station master explained to Thomas's driver that the school bus had broken down and all the parents would be worried if the children were late. Thomas waited as the children walked down from the bridge. Then he took the children to the next station where Bertie was waiting to take them home. When Thomas finished his journey, he was very late. He was worried that Sir Topham Hatt might be cross with him. Puffed Percy to James. But next morning, when Thomas picked up his passengers, Sir Topham Hatt was nowhere to be seen. Sighed Thomas. Thomas knows every part of his branch line. Just ahead was a stretch where the hot sun had bent the rails on the track. Called his driver, but it was too late said his driver, asked Thomas, replied his driver. While workmen repaired the line, Thomas had to shunt freight cars in the yard. Bertie came to see him, replied Thomas sadly. Bertie set off to collect Thomas's passengers. They said, Bertie drove along the road that runs by the railway. He stopped at each station along the line. Sometimes he stopped between stations to let people off closer to their homes. Thomas felt miserable. Sir Topham had arrived. When Thomas reached the station, there to his relief were all his passengers. They said, Later, Thomas spoke to Bertie. Replied Thomas.